What is going on everyone? I hope you are all doing well. As case you can't tell, I am finally back in the studio and ready to get fired into some tech content. So we've got a couple of new stories that have just emerged in the last 24 to 48 hours and one that actually came out while I was away at PAX, but something I definitely wanted to bring to your guys' attention in case you happen to miss it over the past week. But we're going to start out with a juicy news story courtesy of Anantec, who have posted up that the first Volta-based DGX systems have been released from NVIDIA. So these are now out in the wild, and DGX systems, in case you're not aware, are essentially turnkey machine learning solutions, so that rather than having to go out and, you know, invest in sort of configuring all the hardware and putting it together yourself, and then, you know, troubleshooting that with all of the software on your end if you're trying to run a machine learning or AI server, then you could just go out and buy one of these DGX-based systems and you'll be ready to go right on day one out of the box. These systems first launched back when, right before Pascal launched to the public. The initial release date for the first ever DGX system with Pascal was August, I mean, sorry, April 5th, 2016. And in case you're not familiar, The GTX 1080 and other Pascal-based OEM cards launched on May 27th of that very same year, 2016. So close to, just just under two months after the first DGX system launch with Pascal, we had consumer-based Pascal cards out in the market. So this has me leading to believe that with the first Volta-based DGX systems now out in the market, we could be as close to about two months away from the release of Volta out into the marketplace. And I wanted to get your guys' feedback on that, what you think about all of this, and if we will be getting uh, Volta-based systems before the end of the year. As also pointed out by Anantech, the OEM Volta is targeted for Q4 of 2017, so we could very likely see it in the next couple of months and before the end of this calendar year. As far as upcoming events with NVIDIA, they don't really have anything on their calendar that sort of screams, you know, what they, where they would release something like this. Uh, in September, they've got a AI summit as well as the Strata and also the Gartner Symposium, uh, also BlizzCon in November of 2017. So they do have a couple of large conferences before end, the end of the year, but nothing where they would traditionally sort of announce a big graphics card release like Volta. So we will just have to wait and see how this unfolds over the coming months. But, you know, I think this is rather promising seeing it now out in the server world. I think it's only just a few months away before we can finally get our hands on Volta's power for our gaming needs. Up next is Vega 56, which this story, like I said, this one is about a week old, but I was away when this kind of came out and I wanted to bring it to your attention. Uh, Basically, Vega 56 was flashed to a Vega 64 BIOS, which gave it a massive performance boost. Uh, Video cards actually went and did their own testing with flashing the BIOS, and they were able to discover that when they flashed the BIOS on the Vega 56, it was only 2% slower than Vega 64, and when they overclocked it, they actually surpassed Vega 64 by a significant margin, although that was still a stock Vega 64. I would have to assume if you overclocked the Vega 64, it would probably pull ahead yet again. But this is not unlocking more cores. It's not doing anything like that. It's just really allowing you to increase the clock speed even more than what you could previously, and it's probably also removing the power restriction on Vega 56 as well, which was kind of a big thing that was covered at launch. Gamers Nexus did quite a bit of uh, covering on that particular topic, so if you want to go check out their article, they did a really good one. I'll be sure to link to it down in the description below. But this is, you know, interesting to see at least that Vega 56 can basically be unlocked to be a Vega 64 card without the additional cores, but still get pretty darn close and I don't honestly don't know why you wouldn't want to do this, because if you have a Vega 56 card like the reference one that I've got behind me here, it's got a dual BIOS switch. So this is a fairly safe procedure. I mean, you can flash the BIOS, which we now know is working. And just in case something does go wrong, you have a backup BIOS anyway. So it's very minimal risk as long as you have a Vega 56 with a dual BIOS switch. So this is probably going to make these cards even more appealing to people out there that if you can find them for $399, because we already know at the $400 price point, it beats the GTX 1070 very well. The only question is whether or not you can actually get it for that price. But if you can, if you can get Vega 56 for $400, it beats the 1070. And, you know, if you can do this and flash it to Vega 64, then you're just going to really come out 
well far ahead of where the current $400 price tag price tag could put you in you know the full the whole gpu landscape out there of the cards that we currently have available at least until volta comes out hopefully by the end of the year our last news topic is about intel's coffee lake which everyone has been asking when are these things going to be released and now it looks like we know uh, from a rumor that it'll be released on october 5th so just about a month away from now We'll be, we should be seeing Coffee Lake processors hitting the streets like the i7-8700K, which will have six cores and 12 threads. This was actually over on Reddit initially. Someone had asked on the Intel subreddit the i7-8700K release date, to which a comment was posted and then later deleted, but we have it thanks to video cards yet again, was an image that shows the i7-8700K with a release date of October 5th. And that's, I mean, it's got to be this year. We know that it's coming very soon. We've already seen... Motherboard starting to show up from the main vendors out there. So it's no doubt coming out in the next month or so And now we've got this image here that shows October 5th Obviously this could have been faked, but it was later deleted So, you know, we'll just kind of have to wait and see on that one just like everything else here today So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the coffee lake release date the fact that Vega 56 can be flashed to essentially become just 2% slower than Vega 64 and do you think we will see Volta in our hands before the end of the year based on the fact that the server-based systems are now already out in the marketplace available available for purchase even if they do cost $149,000 yes that's actually what those server system cost close to 150 grand for one of those hopefully the uh, OEM cards are not anywhere near that price because I don't think I'd be able to afford one and neither would any of you out there so as always, I look forward to your comments and discussion down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're not already. And if you have been here for a while, you can always hit that notification bell to find out whenever I'm uploading new tech news videos like this one here. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.